good afternoon students today i am going to take the topics on different types of models which is used in the embedded design in the last class i took about the fundamental issues in hardware software core design that is the last topic of the fourth module in the fundamental issues in hardware software core design i explain about what are the topics it comes under that is which are the issues will come under selecting the models first one is selecting the model second one is selecting the architecture under that the controller architecture under that data path architecture under that finite state machine data path and next is complex instruction set computing cisc verilog instruction what vliwo parallel processing architecture and selecting the language and partitioning system requirements into hardware and software these are the points i explained today i'll explain the computational models which are used in the embedded design what are the uh, which are the models we are using for designing the embedded systems that is data flow graph model simplest of all uh, state machine model concurrent process model sequential or uh, program model object oriented model etc these are the various models which are commonly used in computational models in embedded system design so in the diagram it explain the first type of model that is called as data flow graph diagram model it is also called as gfg model so here we are using a symbol called as arrow mark and a circle so the arrow mark towards the circle and arrow marks away from the circle gives the meaning on the circle represents the data flow node the data flow graph model translates the data processing requirements into a data flow graph the data flow graph model is a data driven model in which the program execution is determined by data the model emphasizes on the data and the operations on the data which transforms the input data to the output data so here we are using uh, here we are using a circle and an arrow mark an inward arrow to the process represents the input data and an output output arrow from the and an output arrow uh, output arrow from the process represents an output data in dfg notation so here it represents x is equal to a plus b and y is equal to x minus c the data flow node inside that node we are representing plus and a and b are two arrow marks towards it that is a plus b the arrow mark which is away is x therefore x is equal to a plus b the another one towards data flow node the two arrow marks is x and c therefore x minus c is equal to y this is about the data flow graph model data path is the data uh, uh, data path from input to the output dfg model is set to be acyclic dfg adfg if it doesn't contain multiple values for the input variable and multiple output values for a given set of inputs the feedback inputs output is fed back to input events etc are examples for non cyclic inputs a dfg model translates the program as a single sequential process execution and the second type of model is can you see this diagram the second type of model is control data flow graph diagram it is also called as cdfg same thing here we are using a rhombus or a diamond which is represents the if else condition we are using a flag here if flag is equal to 1 is true it comes the arrow mark downward that is executes uh, a plus b x you uh, if you call x as outward x is equal to a plus b if flag is equal to 1 is false then it executes 
y is equal to uh, a minus b that you can tell it as. So, what is this um, control flow data graph? This control flow data graph model is a data driven model in which the execution is controlled by data and it dissolve it does not involve it does not involve any control operations that is any conditions the, uh, the the control dfg model is used for modeling the application involving conditions what is the condition condition is true or false if flag is equal to 1 x is equal to a plus b else y is equal to a minus b like that we are using this this control code is represented by a diamond block which is decision making element in a normal flow chart based design cdfd translates the requirement which is modeled to a concurrent process model the decision on which process is to be executed is determined by the control mode this is about the cdfg so you can see the diamond r diamond shape inside that we are representing flag is equal to 1 in a control node and data flow node we are using a two circles one represents a plus and another represents a minus so if you are taking x is equal to a plus b and if you are assuming y as output of the minus then y is equal to uh, which is that minus a minus b this is about the uh, understanding of the control data flow cd is control data flow graph model thank you for listening